The hottest topic at eXp Realty right now is the revenue share model and the type of money that agents and brokers are earning. So in this particular video, my business partner, Pat Hayes, is interviewing Rob Flick, the man, the myth, the legend, the number one revenue share earning agent in the entire company. This interview is going to blow your mind. So if you are serious about building revenue share, you're going to want to listen up and take a lot of notes. If you have any questions or comments, type those in below. And I really hope you get a lot of value out of this video. We've got over 63 um, agents uh, that are part of Team Disruptor here on the Zoom call uh, this morning, wanting to hear your story of, uh, you know, how did you do this? How, you know, um, you know where you came from, uh, you know, how you grew Keller Williams and then how you met Gene Frederick and, uh, you know, how we met. I kind of shared that story, uh, how we kind of met almost five years ago at that coffee shop uh, here in San Antonio. Uh, checking out the model. And it's been a life changer for me. And uh, I know EXP has truly, truly, truly changed your life. And I remember, yeah. I remember hearing this. Uh, uh, you told me, hey, Pat, I saw this and you just wanted to make an extra $500,000 a year in passive income. Yeah. You thought it was going to take you three years. And now you're probably making that more per month. So without further ado, Rob Flick, take it away. So tell us all about your amazing story. And then uh, I've got a few questions afterwards and then maybe we can uh, open it up for some, uh, some Q and a, but uh, I respect your time. We've got about 30 minutes, but uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Sure thing, Pat. Well, um, I got into real estate in 1983 initially after being in the Navy and um, I did pretty well. I got into the top 20 um, in, I was in the commercial with Coldwell Banker and I did uh, office buildings, high rises, that kind of stuff. I was top ranked in the country and in the top 20. And then uh, this is like, God, 30 years ago, maybe. And four years ago, long time. And um, I, I was at the top of my game in my late 20s, early 30s. And then I discovered I had cancer and went into the hospital. Um, they told me it didn't look good, that it was spreading. I spent two years in and out of hospitals, uh, four years total that I could not work and I lost everything and went bankrupt. And while I was in the hospital and during that period of time, what went through my head, I never once thought that I wouldn't make it, but the doctors had said it didn't look good um, and that I should get my affairs in order actually. And that was quite uh, daunting, but I never thought that I wouldn't make it. And during that period of time, the thing I used to think about was, I don't know how much time I have left, but I wanted to develop something that had a passive income program. I didn't know the term residual at that time, but I wanted to develop uh, a passive income stream. And I didn't care about rich or wealthy. Um, I wanted to just make about a hundred bucks a month more than it cost me to live so I could live full time at that time. And, um, and I started looking around and learning everything I possibly could about developing passive income streams and residuals. And I ran in 1996, I ran across Keller Williams. Um, and at that time, you know, it was Keller who Keller, what there was only about 1300 agents nationwide at Keller Williams at that time in 96. Um, not even that many then, because I, I did not join Keller until, um, 1996. 97. Um, when I saw it, I, I flew to Austin, Texas, because I heard there was a lady. Um, her name was Althea Osborne. I wanted to meet the number one uh, profit sharing um, earner in, in Keller. And she'd been with the company 16 years. She actually had been the first agent that joined Keller. And, um, and she made $55,000 that year in passive income from their profit sharing. She grossed uh, 150,000. She'd sold five million dollars that year in '96, '97, and she made 55,000 in um, in profit sharing, which literally was a half, about a half what I was really looking to do. I was hoping to be able to make a uh, hundred thousand dollars a year, uh, and that would give me the freedom to not have to do anything else. And that was, you know, 22, 24 years ago. Um, and so I flew to Austin, Texas, where she lived, to talk to her and and find out how the system worked. I didn't, you know, they told me what the, I didn't care what the average person ever did. I just wanted to know what the best person ever did. And so I flew to see her and I spent three days with her and her husband to understand the, the program. And one of the things that I asked her was, 
how many people she had personally enrolled, how many people she'd personally sponsored in the 16 years that she'd been with the company. And I thought it was going to be a really big number. It turns out she'd only sponsored 12, not even one a year. And I realized that she was not really a big recruiter personally, but she would help the people that uh, she had brought on. And I asked her, why only 12? Why did you only sponsor 12? And her answer was quite astounding, actually. She said, because I never thought about it. It was never part of my business plan. Um, I only talked about it haphazardly when someone asked me about it. Uh, and that only happened, you know, every so often. And so I said, uh, well, what if, I, and I thought, what if somebody actually thought about it? What if a person made it, did make it part of their business plan? What if you plan to not only just, you know, list and sell, but you also plan to uh, personally sponsor on a regular basis? I said, what would happen if that would happen? So I came back to Arizona um, really enthused because I thought this, this, this could be really big. And so my goal was to enroll two agents a month uh, for 36 months, for three years, because that was the, the vesting period at that time, um, so that it would be permanent, three years. And so I said, all right, I'll give it three years. And, um, and I figured if I sponsored two agents a month, that would be 72 agents personally enrolled, and that's six times more than Althea did. And I figured for sure that had to create 100 grand. And so I joined in January, I know, in uh, July, the 4th of July, actually, of 1997. And, and I, the reason I joined in 4th of July, 97, is because I knew that in three years I would be free and I wanted the whole country celebrating my freedom with a big party every year. <laughs> and quite frankly, they've done that every year on the 4th of July. It's really great. Anyway, so I joined July of uh, 1997. And by Christmas, I'd actually personally enrolled uh, 30 and way more than I thought. And I found out that that uh, it's it's literally easier to find real estate agents than it was to find buyers and sellers. But my business plan before I had joined Keller was to uh, to list two houses a month. And I found that normally I got one buyer from every listing from the sign calls. So if I could get two listings in a month, I had a good shot at getting four deals in a month. And, and if I was to do, you know, 40 to 50 transactions a year, 35 to 50, um, that was really, uh, really good for me. And I was really happy with that. And so my whole mantra and all my time and money beforehand had been spent getting you know, two listings a month because that drove everything. And so I wanted to have two sellers and two buyers, two sellers and two buyers. And the only thing I did differently when I joined Keller was my business plan became two sellers, two buyers, and two agents a month, two sellers, two buyers, and two agents a month. And that was really it. Well, before you knew it, um, I had, by sponsoring those agents and, you know, all of a sudden I had 30 personally enrolled in the first six months, it started expanding quite a bit. And those 30 in those same six months, they weren't as interested in recruiting as I was, but they knew people I didn't know. So I told them if, if you would tee the people up, then I would certainly um, be happy to talk to them. And so during that same six months, those, those 30 enrolled through me, through them, another hundred. So we had a hundred and uh, 130 agents in the first uh, six months. In the next six months, we got another hundred. And so Keller started flying me all over the country because I had 250 agents um, within a year, which was unheard of at that time. And so um, he wanted to spread the news, you know, sort of to show the rest of the people in the country that it was possible. And that really was the beginning of the explosion in 1998 uh, of, of Keller. It really started exploding in a big way. Well, before you knew it, I was making over $100,000 a year. I was, then it got to 10,000 a month and it went to 15,000, 20,000, 25,000 a month. And at that point in time, I said, that's enough um, money to live on. I could live on that easily. And I retired and that was 15, 16 years ago. And I've been getting that money ever since. And, and I, you know, traveled and had no debt and, and you can live pretty good on 20, $25,000 a month if you have no debt. And so I really wasn't looking for anything. When I ran into Gene, um, golly, when was it? It was a memorial. It was, uh, I think it was in May or September. Um, 
of uh, 2015, and um, he, I went to his lake house, just like you said, and he said, and I kept avoiding it. He said, you got to see this thing. I'm, you know, I started this new deal in real estate. I'd heard that he had left Keller and he and I had known each other from Keller. I was a regional owner. He was a regional owner. He owned six franchises. I own parts of six franchises. And um, we knew each other quite well from Keller. And then, of course, after I retired and I wasn't around anymore, then we sort of lost touch. But we played golf and he was just a really decent guy. But I didn't know him really, really, really well. Um, so when I when I moved to Texas about six years ago, I, I knew that I, I'd heard he left and I wanted to know, you know, maybe I had a golfing buddy and um, another somebody that had time and money because most people don't have both time and money. They have one or the other. They either have a lot of time or they have I mean, they make a lot of money, but they have no time really to enjoy it. They're a slave to uh, to what creates money for them. And I thought maybe I found a golfing buddy because here's a guy who maybe retired. And he said, yes, he'd sold all this stuff. He'd left Keller. He'd sold his region. He'd sold all his um, franchises. And he said, I'm working on this new project called EXP. And I'd never heard of it, really didn't care. And he said, uh, uh, this thing is, is really going to be incredible. And I just, I was at his lake house. I avoided him for about four days. But at the end, the last day I was there, um, he said, man, you just got to see this. And, and he let's see this when everyone's in bed. And so around 1130 at night, he grabbed four cigars and a bottle of scotch and said, let's go out to the porch. And it was a big rainstorm uh, going at the time. And um, and he drew out his plan on napkins and literally, I don't know, 30, 40 napkins. It was really kind of incredible. And the wind was blowing, so it blew the napkins all over. And I said, I don't know how I'm ever going to remember any of this. And he didn't number the napkins, so I, you know, I had to try and figure the order. It was just like, ha. Ah. But anyway, it was about a four-hour presentation because um, around 4.30 uh, that morning, he was done. And I, I knew at that point in time he was on to something. And I, I remember saying to Gene, Gene, I can't believe you're doing this to me, but you're going to make me come out of retirement. And so um, – I said uh, to uh, my wife, I said, oh, no, I have to get, now I got to talk to my wife and figure out how to talk to her to let her know that I really was excited. I want to do this. And I wanted to give it three years because of the vesting period and um, for the stock with EXP. And so I went to Jen and I said, OK, we're going to have to curtail our travel program, our traveling here for a little bit because I really am excited and interested in doing this thing with Gene, because I think it really could be wonderful for lots of other agents. I had been able to get free at Keller, but I'd never been able to get anybody else free. And still to this day, Gene tells me I'm the 13th highest paid person in the history of Keller Williams in their profit sharing program, uh, which to me says a lot. And I mean, I've been gone for 15, 16 years, and they've got something like 160 or 170,000 agents, and nobody else has passed me in that period of time. So it really tells me that there's not a lot of opportunity there. I'm uh, like I said, being number 13 and only making around $250,000 a year. When I say only, um, you know, it, it, so I figured it would be way, 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 way more than that, but it never did. And so she said, well, uh, what's in it? You know, what, if we do this, what's in it for us? And I said, well, if we do the same thing, Gene told me that if we do the same thing at EXP, that I did at uh, Keller, then it would probably be, it would be $5 million a year. And she gave it about a nanosecond and said, I think you should do it. <laughs> and so um, we had to get our license, our real estate license, because we hadn't been licensed for a while. And um, so we joined and affiliated with eXp January 1st of 2016. And my plan was to enroll two agents a month. And um, and I, I didn't do that. I failed. I only enrolled 20 my first year. Um, I didn't hit 24, so I just I didn't make my goal. But those 20 referred others, referred others. Uh, one of them was Scott Lewis, quite frankly. And that was uh, that was one of my best uh, presentations because Scott eventually found Pat. And then Pat found all you guys, which made the life really, really wonderful. And um, but anyway, those those first 20 that first year turned into uh, 700. And my plan was to get um, like like Pat said, to to make five hundred thousand dollars a year. And how did I figure that? I figured that um, 
if you enroll somebody and they do a million dollars worth of uh, business, just a million, they're not a big producing agent, quite average or mediocre, actually. But if they only do a million, uh, that gross is about 30000 in gross commission. Well, we get paid 3.5% of the people that we personally enroll, right? So 3.5%, 3.5% of 30000 is about 1000 And on your second level, you get even more, 4%. And so I thought, wow, okay, if, I have, if I've got um, more than 25 agents personally enrolled, if I enroll one agent a month um, and I sponsor 12 a year, you know, being very conservative, I figured two or three would quit because people quit stuff. So let's say that they, you know, three people quit. So I netted nine a year. If I did that for three years in a row, that'd be 27, which would qualify me for the first uh, six levels, not the seventh, but the first six. And um, let's see. And so then um, I, uh, I figured if I had qualified for the first six levels, and at each of these agents, you know, was in volume. I'm making a thousand dollars per agent per year. And if I at those 27, I figured eventually would enroll others who enroll others who enroll others to so the tune of 500 agents. I figured that was very doable because 20 years before, I had um, sponsored 30 at Keller, and that had turned into thousands and thousands of agents. Um, but because it's paid after expenses and not off the top, you, there's just not near as much. Uh, money available. And so I said that with 500 agents at $1,000 an agent, approximately, that would be $500,000 a year. And I figured it'd take me three years. Well, it turns out it only took me seven months to get that done. And in my first year, I actually ended up with 700 agents. My second year, my goal again was 24 agents personally enrolled. I failed again. I only got 20. Now I had 40 people personally enrolled. And, um, and those 700 became 3000 and after the second year and then the third year I wanted 24 and I only got 20 I was just stuck on 20 I can't believe it and um, so I had 60 personally enrolled uh, at that point in time after the end of my third year and we had that that 3000 agents became 7000 agents and then in my fourth year believe it or not I sponsored about 35 um, I finally got to understand how to do it. <laughs> and um, I ended up that year with uh, right around 10,000 agents. And now um, January 1st will be the end of our um, fifth year, even though I really didn't hit it until probably May of 2016. Joined in January, um, didn't really get it to understand it. Gene had me go to the uh, shareholders conference and uh I thought, okay, fine, I'll go see this. Well, that was in April of 2016, and that changed our life. That changed our total opinion of everything. And I realized that people make big decisions at big events. And I've always thought events were really important in the lifeblood of growth. And so um, I, I saw that, and I said to my wife, I think these people are onto something really big. Um, I think they really know what they're doing. They're hiring really great people. And uh, I think we should put some time and effort into it. And she looked me straight in the eyes and she said, yes, you should. <laughs> and uh, so then I did. That's what currently right now we're just shy of 13,000 agents um, in our first uh, seven levels. We've been probably close to 25 or 30,000 agents um, that are downline from us totally uh, way beyond. I've got more agents uh, past my seven levels than I have I, um, in my first se- in my first seven, you know. Um, my fastest growing team right now is my um, uh, seventh level by far. My sixth and seventh level bring over 50% of all our income. And, um, and it's, as you said, it's way beyond a uh, half million a year. And yes, we have made that much monthly. And, and it is... Um, I just, you know, where it's going is, is really pretty incredible. And this, this month, you know, is the biggest month we've ever had um, that uh, as far as growth and agents joining and already in the first, uh, in the last 30 days, we've had uh, just a tad over 800 agents join our seven. You, if you average about a thousand dollars per eight, you know, and it depends on their production and what they do. Um, 
you know, that means our income is going up potentially $800,000 a year every 30 days. I never imagined it would ever get like that. It's just unbelievable. But what's happening is we're having such incredible talent uh, of people coming aboard like Pat and his wife um, all over the country and now in different and uh, in now in other countries, too, you know, because we've got one the, the fellow we personally enrolled uh, enrolled the person that's opening France, you know, and we had people that opened up uh, England and people that opened up, Aust- you know, Australia. It's just it's unbelievable what's happening. And now with Mexico coming on board, you know, and and uh, several other countries um, with Michael Valdez making things move, I just have no idea where it's going to go. And we have a number of people now on the team that are making uh, over $80,000 a month, which is making money at the rate of, you know, over a million dollars a year. Um, I think I have a dozen, maybe 15 people that are doing that. And, and I've got well over a hundred agents that are, um, you know, making over 20 K a month. But I will tell you, you, you know, when you start making an extra 1500, 2000, 2500, you know, a month residually on top of everything else, it starts changing your life pretty dramatically. And the massive number of agents out there, um, an extra $1,500 a month, even eight or 900 a month makes a massive difference in their life. And one of the things that Jen and I decided that we would start doing, um, we wanted to start over tipping everywhere, you know, leaving a hundred dollar tips because we said, we can't believe the difference it makes in people's life. You were, you know, with a server and, you know, maybe your meal is 25, 30 bucks. You leave a hundred dollar tip. They think you made a mistake and you say, no, you are just, you know, you gave excellent service. I'm really excited that you were here and we just appreciate you and what you're doing. And we realize most people don't really tip as they should. And you can't believe sometimes these people will almost start to cry over a hundred dollars. And you think about it. I mean, people have a giant need out there and you have an opportunity to be able to uh, affect people's lives in a very, very positive way. And one of the things that we have done already is, Um, We started a family foundation that um, a 501 C three that we could be able to start funding um, to provide housing and education for those in need. And what, what we did was we donated all our stock to the, um, to the foundation. And um, it turns out that that's, you know, a seven figure endowment, you know, to be able to get our foundation started and, And it's wonderful to be able to give back. And that's one of the things now um, that we really, really are interested in doing. And my wife and I now seem to have more and more conversations about not what do we want, but what can we do for others? What can we make um, available for others? How can we impact more people in a positive way uh, with what we've been blessed with? And my goal uh, for for, for my team, just my personal goal, is I want to have 100 people that are making over a million dollars a year in rev share, not to mention their stock. We've got several hundred people that are millionaires and even multimillionaires because of their stock. Um, and, you know, being working to become an icon is almost a guarantee. <laughs> Can't say it's a guarantee, but it's incredible uh, on building yourself into uh, a millionaire or multimillionaire in assets. Um, that's a really big thing. And we want to have a thousand people on our team that are making over a quarter of a million a year, more than $20,000 a month. Those are our main goals. I see that happening. Um, and as we're expanding now around the world, I, I can't see that it would ever stop. As people have said before, what we've gotten started is going to be almost impossible to stop. Um, and uh, I'm just excited about the future. And I appreciate, Pat, you uh, asking me to talk to your folks. Absolutely. Wow, uh, Rob. I mean, every time I hear your story, just truly amazing, just almost brings tears to my eyes. And uh, I mean, just so inspiring. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for you, um, you know, none of us would be here. And, uh, you know, I just want to say again, thank you for, uh, uh, you know, having that open mind and, and really listening to Gene Frederick, uh, you know, that evening at the lake house and, and, you know, I know. taking action because uh, I mean, you've truly changed my life and I'll never forget, um, you know, that meeting at the coffee shop at the Elan uh, December of 2015, where my dad and I came to meet Scott Lewis and uh, I ended up meeting you and uh, also Gene Frederick, and uh, you know, forever that that, that meeting's forever changed, uh, you know, my life and my family's life, and and uh, you know, you you were able to help me and guide me and get you know Angel, my wife, out of corporate America, 
uh, you know, and I know we had a lot of goals and we talked about it and I was a little scared uh, and she was scared, but uh, you know what, we, we, we made it happen. We set goals and we made it happen. And, and um, you know, if it wasn't, you did. yeah, you know, and if it wasn't for you, um, you know, I could have never made that happen anywhere else, you know? And so, um, you know, this, um, this opportunity is truly, truly amazing. And, and we like to do this call every single Friday and have a special guest on there just to motivate, you know, these are all EXP agents, you know, they, 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 they've chosen to be at the best brokerage firm a realtor can be at. And this is just a, right. this is just a, uh, you know, help them, uh, you know, um, you know, show them what other agents are doing. Um, it's not just you. It's not just me. It's not just Scott Lewis. It's not just Gene Frederick, you know, out there hustling, making all this money. Uh, there's a lot of other agents out there. And just like what you said, a lot. you know, on the 21st, on, on the 22nd of every single month, it's so amazing to get all these text messages from agents saying, hey, I just got my first revenue share check, or hey, I just got my first revenue share check with a comma in it, or I just got my biggest revenue share check, you know? And uh, I mean, you know, my, my last three revenue share checks have been over, you know, six figures, over $100,000 a month. And I, 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 I can't fathom that. I mean, it's just, it's like, I, I'm pinching myself. It's amazing, you know, to, to, to have that. And, and I want every single one of you guys to, to have, you know, six figure checks. And I'll never forget, Rob, whenever you said a few years ago at one of the events, you know, you want to have, you know, uh, you know, 10 or 100 people, you know, making over a million dollars a year. And, uh, you know, I, I'm one of those. And uh, if it wasn't for your help uh, in, in guiding me and coaching me and, you know, uh, uh, building a wealth chart and, and, and building a vision board and, and taking action, um, you know, it's I mean, it's just unbelievable what you have done, not only for the organization, but, you know, for my life as well, too. And, uh, you know, I know you're, you're such a giver and you're just wanting to give back. And, you know, I appreciate your time. And I know that uh, our time is almost running out. We got about three minutes. But, uh, you know, Rob, I've got one last question for you. Where do you see EXP in the next three to five years? You know, what, what is your thought? What no. is your well, I, I think we'll definitely be beyond in three to five years. We'll definitely be beyond 100,000 agents without question. And I think the $100,000 a month mark is a really great goal. But I will tell you, when ours went on, you know, over 100,000 a week, you, you can't imagine. Now I think I think that's going to, you know, I've got people on my team that are doing that too as well now. And I really believe that we will have when you're three to five years, boy, like, you know, I think we'll have eventually long-term half a million agents in the U S yep. and, and I think we'll have over a million agents outside the U S. So it wouldn't surprise me that we have one and a half million agents, you know, as we keep on going, I can't imagine where the stock's going to be when that happens. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just see it growing and growing and growing to the fact that now I remember, you know, my goal, my three-year goal was to have 500 agents. And now I'm, I'm approaching, you know, before you know, it, it's going to be a thousand agents a month that are joining my seven levels and to have two times in a month, what I expected to take three years. And, and it's because a lot of people are doing a little bit. There are a few people doing a ton. There's no question. But with a lot of people, as you start and, you know, the duplication process, um, it, it really is an explosive program. I can tell you, most of all, is, is don't, don't be, frustrate, be frustrated. Frustration is actually good. The reason I say that is because if you weren't frustrated by the growth of, of your team, because all of us think it's not going fast enough. I personally think I can't believe how slow this is going, <laughs> you know, but it's because I just I just know it's so good. And I said, why aren't these people talking to more people, you know, and um, and, and, you know, so I just laugh at that. But if you just realize that over time um, it grows and the people that are. Um, loyal to the system, the people that are persistent and consistent and do it in a, in a caring way, not an arrogant way. Um, you're going to lead and bring on, you know, bring on people. And if you, and, and if you're and like I said, consistent and persistent over time, your business will start, will start to grow. And sometimes the people have to do a self-improvement type of program on themselves just to become more relatable to people. People want to follow someone who knows where they're going to go. People don't want to follow you know, a, a wet bread or milk toast kind of personality. They're looking for someone that is strong, that knows where they're going, that's going to help them go the right way and is going to be there, you know, when times are tough. I know, and, and life happens to us, you know, just know, look long-term, have your goals out. You can't judge what your results are, but you can judge what you personally will do. You can judge what your actions are, and then you just take ownership of the results as they come along. Wow. Truly, truly inspiring. Well, Rob, we're at uh, 945, and I know you're on the road right now, and uh, you're heading to an appointment, but uh, I just wanted to say, again, thank you so much for your time. 
truly inspiring and uh, motivating as well too. And again, thank you for everything uh, because if it wasn't for you sharing it with Scott Lewis, you know, I wouldn't be here and a lot of these other agents wouldn't be here as well too. So, um, you know, we like to do this again every Friday. We like to have a special guest. And uh, again, you know, just like, you know, this is recruiting season right now. You know, we're just trying to motivate agents to get out there and start sharing EXP with other agents because this is the best brokerage firm that a realtor can be at. And we all need to be here. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, thanks for, for everything that you've done, because uh, again, you forever changed my life. And uh, um, I love you for that. And, uh, you know, thanks again for your time. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, Pat, but you've deserved everything that you've done. I know you've worked really hard as well, you know, and, and uh, I remember when we were talking to you about, we need to get angel free. We need to get her free to change things. Your life, you know, it'll happen. Let's, let's do that. I remember you thinking, Oh my God, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, she makes a lot of money. We get great benefits. It's like, uh, and, uh, but you were able to over, to overcome that. You had the big vision. You were able to uh, accomplish that. And that's a very, very big thing, Pat. I'm just ridiculously proud of what the two of you have accomplished. And, uh, yep. really, truly you are, you are a leader. You are the future. What I look at as you are the future of EXP then the agents that you bring on board are the future. You know, I helped get things started. I tipped over, you know, Gene and I tipped over some of the first dominoes, but now, you know, we got younger, better looking, more energy, stronger, taller, more teeth, you know, than, than, uh, than us old guys who are, you know, in started. And I think you guys are, you guys have a better platform now to bring people to than we did. And I, and I really believe you are better now at, at, uh, spreading the word. Oh, hey, I appreciate every word that you're saying and I uh, love you for that. And again, uh, you know, thanks so much for your time and uh, God bless you and, and the family and Jen for, uh, you know, having an open mind for, uh, you know, taking, uh, you know, taking a look at this opportunity and changing a lot of other agents' lives, not just my life, but uh, you've changed thousands of lives and uh, it's only going to get better. So, uh, you know, again, thank you so much and uh, God bless you and you go, you go have a fun weekend. Thank you, Pat. You too.